Welcome to The Unreality Matrix, a dimension of imagination where the spotlight shines on the complexities of the human mind. In this episode, we delve into the enigmatic world of narcissistic personality disorder, exploring the intricate layers of a psyche consumed by self-absorption and grandiosity within the unreality matrix. Join us as we unravel the tale of a mind entangled in its own reflection, navigating the tumultuous waters of ego and identity. Prepare to witness a character study that delves deep into the shadows of the self within the unreality matrix. Welcome to a realm where the mirror reveals more than just a reflection. I'm Mac. And I'm Dog. Thank you for joining in on today's discussion. We're happy you're here with us. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast on your favorite platform to stay up to date. Now let's dive into today's discussion. Today, we're peeling back the layers on a topic that touches more lives than we might realize, narcissism and narcissistic personality disorder. And no better source to guide us through this complex landscape than the Handbook of Narcissism and Narcissistic Personality Disorder, Theoretical Approaches, Empirical Findings, and Treatments, an invaluable resource edited by W. Keith Campbell and Joshua D. Miller. Right. It's fascinating to see how the understanding of narcissism and NPD has evolved, especially with the rich historical overview the handbook provides. It outlines the progression and the representation of these concepts through time. While the historical perspective is valuable, I do have concerns about the narcissistic personality inventory. It's under a lot of scrutiny for its effectiveness. I appreciate that the handbook doesn't shy away from this controversy, though. Absolutely. The critical examination shows a willingness to engage with and improve upon the methodologies used in understanding NPD, and the breadth of contributors from various esteemed institutions adds such a depth of insight into different aspects of narcissism. You see, that's one of my gripes. While the array of contributors is impressive, ranging from the University of Southern Mississippi to Harvard Medical School, it makes me wonder about the consistency of the information provided, with so many cooks in the kitchen, so to say. I understand your point, but I see it as a strength. The variation in perspectives gives us a panoramic view of narcissism, covering everything from its assessment and epidemiology to its neurophysiological correlates. It's this diversity that provides a comprehensive picture. Speaking of comprehensive, the handbook's foray into the comorbidity of narcissism with other disorders and its overlap with psychopathy is intriguing. But it also highlights how challenging it can be to diagnose and treat NPD effectively. Challenging, yes, but not impossible. The section on treatment is particularly hopeful, showcasing a variety of therapeutic models. It's an indication that while difficult, there are pathways to better understanding and managing NPD. The variety is promising, but it also underscores the complexity of treatment. Each model, be it psychodynamic psychotherapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, or dialectical behavior therapy, presents its own set of challenges and considerations. True, the journey to finding effective treatment is complex but the handbook concludes with a look at experimental interventions that could pave the way for future strategies. It's a reminder that our understanding and management of NPD is always evolving. Evolution is key, but we must not overlook the monumental effort and collaboration that went into creating this handbook. It serves as a testament to the dedication of researchers and practitioners committed to enriching our understanding of narcissism and NPD. Absolutely, and special thanks to the editors, W. Keith Campbell and Joshua D. Miller, and their team for recognizing the need for such a comprehensive resource. It's resources like these that equip us to better comprehend and tackle complex psychological issues. So, whether you're deeply invested in the world of psychology or just looking to understand more about the impact of narcissism in society and personal relationships, the Handbook of Narcissism and Narcissistic Personality Disorder is a vital resource. Indeed, it's just the tip of the iceberg. For anyone intrigued by today's discussion and looking to dive deeper, this handbook is a treasure trove of knowledge waiting to be explored. 
This is the end of our part we are playing in the segment of this episode of the Unreality Matrix today. Thanks for tuning you dial to our frequency of our program. If you enjoyed our conversation, please share our podcast with anyone who might find it as engaging as you do. And don't forget to subscribe to keep listening to more episodes of Unreality Matrix. Until next time, I'm Mac. And I'm Dog. Now get ready for Stephen to start the next segment of this episode. Have you ever wondered uh, what drives people who seem overly self-absorbed or excessively confident? This curiosity brings us to uh, the fascinating world of narcissism and narcissistic personality disorder, uh, or NPD. To navigate this complex terrain, we turn to the authoritative guide, the uh, handbook of narcissism and narcissistic personality disorder edited by esteemed psychologists W. Keith Campbell and Joshua D. Miller. This comprehensive resource kicks off with a historical review of narcissism and NPD, tracing their evolution and helping us understand the roots of these concepts. It also sheds light on how NPD is represented in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, the go-to reference for mental health professionals. The handbook also introduces us to the major divides in uh, narcissism research. Key among these is the distinction between grandiose and vulnerable narcissism, two contrasting ways narcissism can manifest. This understanding um, lays the groundwork for a deeper exploration of narcissism and NPD, so buckle up, we're just getting started. How does one identify narcissism or NPD in an individual? Well, it's not as straightforward as it may seem. There are various assessment measures for narcissistic personality disorder and trait narcissism. One of the most debated tools is the Narcissistic Personality Inventory, or NP. Um, the self-reporting questionnaire measures narcissistic traits, but its validity and uh, Reliability have been the subject of much discussion among researchers. Um, however, it's not just about identifying narcissism in adults. It's uh, crucial to recognize these traits in young people too. Um, early detection can provide valuable insights into an individual's personality development and potential future behaviors. It can also guide therapeutic uh, interventions, um, potentially altering the trajectory of a person's life. Understanding narcissism isn't a simple task, but it's an essential one. By assessing and recognizing these traits, we can better comprehend the complexity of human behavior and personality. Identifying narcissism early can greatly impact the course of an individual's life. Well, um, where does narcissism originate and how does it affect the individual and those around them? Diving into the depths of narcissism, um, we find its roots intertwined with numerous factors. Large-scale epidemiological studies suggest that narcissistic personality disorder or NPD is not a rare phenomenon. The origins of narcissism are complex, um, ranging from parenting styles and developmental factors to cultural influences and evolutionary aspects. Parenting and development play a significant role. Um, overindulgence or excessive praise can foster a sense of entitlement and superiority in a child. On the flip side, neglect or criticism can lead to a defensive facade of grandiosity. Cultural elements such as the rise of social media and celebrity culture can promote narcissistic tendencies, uh, while some evolutionary theories propose that a degree of narcissism may have survival and reproductive benefits. But narcissism doesn't exist in a, in a vacuum. It's often accompanied by other disorders. NPD has been associated with a range of mental health conditions, creating a web of comorbidity that can complicate diagnosis and treatment. 
it also has an intricate relationship with uh, self-esteem and psychopathy, adding another layer of complexity to this multifaceted condition. Narcissism shapes how individuals perceive themselves and others, leading to discrepancies between their self-image and how others see them. It fuels self-enhancement and aggression and can strain romantic relationships, making them more volatile and less satisfying. Narcissism is not just about the individual, it has a profound impact on their relationships uh, and society as a whole. Um, is it uh, possible to treat narcissism or NPD? This is a question often asked, and the answer is yes, although it can be a challenging process. Um, there are several therapeutic approaches available to treat narcissism and narcissistic personality disorder. Um, Transference-focused uh, psychotherapy, for instance, uh, uses the relationship between the therapist and the patient as a, a model for understanding and restructuring uh, the patient's interpersonal relationships. So, this therapy aims to help uh, individuals with NPD to understand their emotions and needs better. Attachment therapy, on the other hand, focuses on resolving the patient's attachment issues, often rooted in early life experiences. This therapy seeks to create a secure attachment with the therapist, which can then be generalized to other relationships. Schema therapy is another approach that um, targets maladaptive schemas or patterns that people with NPD often possess. This therapy uh, helps patients uh, recognize and change these harmful patterns to develop healthier ways of thinking and behaving. Cognitive behavioral therapy and dialectical behavior therapy are also effective approaches. Cognitive behavioral therapy focuses on changing negative thought patterns and behaviors, while dialectical behavior therapy uh, emphasizes mindfulness, emotional regulation, and interpersonal effectiveness. In addition to these established methods, experimental interventions are being explored to inform future treatment strategies. These innovative approaches can potentially offer new avenues for treating narcissism and NPD. While challenging, treatment for narcissism and NPD is indeed possible and can significantly improve the quality of life for individuals and those around them. I hope everybody enjoyed the programming tonight. Uh, I, I have a great deal of enjoyment with Make these videos and, um, let me know how you guys think about what I've been doing recently let me know um, what you used to like about the show in the past um, and don't forget to like share and subscribe I feel there's an awful lot of people nowadays and maybe for years and years and years that have had to deal with this subject with you know either dealing with people that have narcissistic um, issues or they're all into themselves or whatever um or they'll be abusive using this narcissistic um personality disorder that they have but um at the end of the day have a great night